Hello and welcome back to another Friday Spotlight. I'm Michael Sovereinsky and I'm here with Dr. Herrera and Beth Hewlett, um, the president of the Farmington Area PTA Council. Right. So Beth, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, so I'm Beth Hewlett. I am the president of the PTA Council. Um, I have been involved in PTA for probably uh, 10 or 11 years and so we're very active in the district and we're really excited to be here to talk to you guys a little bit about it. Awesome. So what would you say is the primary function of the PTA? The primary function of PTA is as an or advocacy organization. Sometimes we're thought of as fundraising organizations um, and while we do fundraising, that fundraising typically goes to events and programs that ultimately affect and benefit advocacy for kids. So the main goal is to be a powerful voice for all children. Um, that's actually the tagline is every child one voice. And our, we're, what we're looking to do is improve the educational experience for kids. That's great. Yes, uh, um, one of the things that I, I have to say coming into the district new was when you when you mentioned how active the PTA was, I think that's clearly an understatement in terms <laughs> of um, your involvement in the district and the support you provide to our, our schools and our students. Um, I, I would have to say, you know, the our PTAs and, the, and their strength and commitment to the schools and their ability to, to help support our schools is, is really unparalleled. Um, uh, maybe a, maybe one or two other districts have the level of support or been gifted with the, the resources we have with our PTA. So I do want to compliment you on, you. on the work that um, the council has done and in, in, in how all of our PTSAs support our school. Um, but but what, what role does the PTA council um, play specifically in the district? So the structure of PTA is that the schools have individual local units. Um, local units are uh, members of the state unit and by default also members of the national unit. So when we have a concentrated number of local units, like we do here in Farmington, which is 15 units, then we can organize a PTA council. And so our PTA council has been around since um, 1956. And the way that we function is that we help to sort of um, focus and strengthen the, the initiatives of the local units. We provide training and we, um, we provide resources for families and community and the units and we also do a lot of advocacy work from from the council level and that may be something local it may be at the state level or at the national level uh, we actually have our own legislative chair um, for pta council she's on her way to washington dc in about a month and a half and so she will be meeting with legislators at that level and we also meet with legislators here in michigan and we travel to lansing at least once a year and have conversation with them about current issues so so we got in the role as advocacy what are some of the some of the the issues or the the, the things that pta is, is advocating for mostly with with students in school districts so here in Farmington, um, one of the things that we've really been um, focusing on is uh, vaping education awareness. And that involves many different aspects, as you know, because that's like a, that's a joint um, effort between the cities and the schools and the parents and families. And so we just, uh, it's very important that we educate all of those people, not just students, but families, um, educators, and everybody needs to know uh, the ins and outs of vaping and how it's really affecting our kids today. Uh, one of the other initiatives that we've been actively working on for the last year is that we have um, been working on getting more diverse books into our media centers. Um, we are trying to help be a part of that um, cultur culturally responsive environment. And so we last year secured uh, $7,000 in grants for diverse books, and we ended up um, getting those out to every media center, um, including high school and preschool. And that's what, another thing that makes Farmington unique is that we do have uh, PTAs and PTSAs for all those levels, including preschool, which is fantastic. When the families grow up starting at you know, preschool level and PTA, it makes it that much stronger when they go through the system. Yeah, and that's the that's the other impressive thing with with our our PTA supports here is it's it's it seems to be very sustainable. Um, yes. we, we don't I don't see a lot of starting and stopping and, and trying to you know bring things back. We have we have a great group, great group that's committed. They do a good job recruiting and, and building capacity. So we have a sustainable program here. So that's another thing that that I've I've observed as well. Um, so if, if if you had an opportunity to um, encourage parents to uh, get involved. Um, I know we have 
you know, thousands of viewers out there that, <laughs> that will probably hear this. Um, you know, who, if I was a parent that wanted to get involved at, at any level, um, who would I contact or how would I, I go about getting, getting, getting in the, the loop? So every school, um, with the exception of Farmington Preschool, which they are about to be, um, as you know, combined with Alameda. So, but every other building has a, a PTA within the building. And you could go to um, the, if you're not familiar with who maybe is in charge of the PTA there, the office will know for you for sure. And all you have to do is let them know that you have an interest. And uh, one thing that we really want people to know is that if you become involved in PTA or have an interest in helping out, it does not commit you to any certain time commitment or any certain activities. And we welcome help and interest in all different ways. So there's something for everyone. Perfect. Yes, and, there, and, and you're actually invested in the school as a parent and, um, and you're, you're helping the school out in a way that, that you know, is, is very meaningful and beneficial and you're also looking to be part of a, a great group here. So, so yes, well, I, wanna, I wanna thank you for, for joining us today and, and uh, sharing your information and what you do and, and we, we, we wish you the best of of success this thank year. Thank you. Yeah. And we appreciate the support from the district. So thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you guys next time on another Friday Spotlight.